The oil pastel boot camp is fairly straightforward. You're going to use a small piece of paper. It's about four and a half by six inches and a box of oil pastels. They come in a container. There may be a different kind of oil pastel that you're using in person. You will have access to the same colors no matter which set you're using, however. We're going to start by taking our yellow oil pastel. If I have some other colors on the end of my oil pastel from another student or another activity, I can wipe it off with my fingers because your hands are going to get fairly dirty with this kind of activity, or you could get a paper towel and wipe it off. I'm going to lightly sketch on the left side of my paper a circle. So I'm barely touching the paper using my gross motor skills, and I'm going around and sketching until I get a pretty good circle, not so much an oval, okay? I'm going to lightly fill in my circle, so keeping my marks close together, not using a ton of pressure. Again, I'm just barely touching the oil pastel to the paper. If, as you're working, you need to peel off the paper to have more access to more oil pastel, that's fine. Just please make sure you throw your paper away and don't let it fall on the floor or put it in the box with the other oil pastels. So I've lightly filled in my circle. I'm going to blend other warm colors together. So no matter which kind of oil pastel you're using in person, your warm colors are red, orange, yellow, and you have two shades of pink. Okay, these are all of your warm colors. You don't have to use all of them, but I should see at least three warm colors that you're trying to blend together here. So I'm going to go on top of my yellow with some pink here. I'm going to push down a little bit harder, try to follow the contour. This is kind of like the color blending activity that we did for that previous boot camp. I'm creating the sense of dimensionality by shading my circle here. I can go back to yellow and I can blend the edge of my yellow with the edge of my pink. I'm pushing down a little bit more and those colors are starting to blend together. They're making kind of an orangey tone. I can take my lighter pink if I'd like to use it. I can put it between the pink and the yellow here where it's blending into that orangey tone. You can layer oil pastels to a certain extent. After a point, it will be so saturated with pigment and oil that you won't be able to lay more color down. A good rule of thumb is that a dark color will always go over a light color, but not necessarily vice versa. Let's go ahead and use some orange. Remember, if this tutorial is going too fast, you can always pause it or slow it down as you're watching it in your browser. Again, I'm blending. As I'm blending, because the orange is much more intense than that pink that I was using, I'm barely touching the pink and it's already depositing a lot of pigment and blending together. I can also go back to the pink. Excuse my shaky camera. And I can blend. Again, barely touching. And it's blending it together. If I get these little clusters of oil pastel, definitely don't take your mask off and blow. Okay, that's the opposite of what we want you to do. You can pick up your paper, give it a good tap tap. They might still be on there, that's okay, we're just going to leave them there, okay? And last, I'm going to use my red for my darkest warm value. I'm putting it right on the edge here. It's hard to get a nice crisp line with oil pastels, right, because they only get so small and so pointy. You can always use the edge of the oil pastel. You can see it starts to refine itself down as you use it. There's no real way to sharpen these that's worthwhile sitting and blending it into a piece of paper is kind of a waste of time and a waste of your art materials, so don't do that. Blending my orange back into my red, and now I'm going to take my yellow, blend this out a bit, on that edge here, really pull towards that point. I'm going to lightly fill it in, so it's picking up some of the orange with it, I'm okay with that. Let's grab some green that was previously on this pastel. Not the end of the world for a boot camp. And then I can take my white oil pastel and blend it with my yellow and make it even lighter. And you can see my white has seen some better days. It definitely has a lot of colors on the end. Again, you can just take your thumb and wipe it off. We do have soap and water in the art room, so you can always use your thumb. Don't wipe it on your pants, though, or your arm, just your fingers, okay? 
So that's pretty good, right? We've blended all of our warm colors together. Let's do the same thing on the right side with our cool colors. So your cool colors, again, no matter which kind of oil pastel you have in the art room, whether the big ones or the small ones, green, blue, we actually have two shades of green, purple, are our cool colors, okay? Black and brown are neutrals. White is also neutral, but white is very helpful for blending, so we do like to use that. Not sure I would encourage you to use black necessarily for this kind of activity. So we're gonna take our lightest cool color, which is the yellow green. A little bit of other greens on the end. I'm getting some of the other oil pastel that's already on my finger on the end. Remember, you could always get a paper towel. Slightly sketch a circle. It doesn't have to be the same size. I had it right the first time, just ignore that. Lightly filling it in, barely touching my oil pastel to the paper. I'm gonna actually preemptively make the edge a little bit darker here. If you don't have a cast shadow on either of these, I mean, you could create a cast shadow, but again, where it's a boot camp, I'm not sure that's a good use of your time. Just blending the colors on the circle, which we're turning into a sphere gives you a pretty good idea of how to use these. We're putting a little crescent on here with our darker or regular green. A little bit more pressure, not a ton. Blending it in a bit. You could use your finger to smudge as well. I like to use my pinkies. So I smudge. I use my pinky because it's my smallest finger, so I have a better idea of where my finger's actually touching the paper. With thumbs, it's a little bit trickier. Blending. I'll take the lighter green and blend it in again. But for this lesson that you're going to have to be using this for, you don't have to use just warm or just cool colors, but we're doing it just for this activity because it's always good to review fundamentals. Take our blue. Also, cool colors are almost always friends. Warm colors are definitely always friends. Purple and green kind of make like an interesting kind of brown type color. I'm hoping the blue is going to absorb some of that gross color mixing. Moving the end of my oil pastel in a little circle here. Kind of eclipse some of that green, but you can see it turned into a blue green, right? It's not just strictly blue. It's mixing as I'm using it. So. so even though my green is technically lighter than my blue, it is going over that blue and blending with it really well. And now I'm going to take my purple and go just around the edge. So it is turning kind of brown, but that's okay. Still tell that you used purple. Take like a purpley brown. I'm going to take my green here, fill this in. I could use yellow here, right? Yellow is a warm color, so if I was doing like a picture of a lime or something, yellow would look pretty sharp being blended in there. I'm going to go back to my white. And blend it in where it's nice and bright on the end for my highlight. The white is not super wimpy when it comes to oil pastels. It's fairly wimpy though. Okay, and I can use my finger to blend again. Remember, we always have soap and water in the art room, so you can always wash your hands. If you're working at home and you have your own oil pastels, also you probably have soap and water at home. Okay? So that's it for the oil pastel boot camp. If you don't have oil pastels at home and you're not working in person, there is a different tutorial that shows you how to do this kind of technique, but digitally. So make sure you watch that video. Oh, don't forget to snap a picture of this and put it on the document on Classroom. Thanks.